I'm Dr. Cherie, and I once enjoyed a full life as a highly successful occupational and environmental medicine physician, overseeing 22 facilities while raising two beautiful daughters until that moment when everything changed. October 1st, 2008, I found a mass in my right breast, and it was stage 2A invasive ductal carcinoma. One year after treatment, I developed disabling lymphedema in my right arm, hand, and fingers. And at the age of 42, after 16 years of practicing, I lost a career I've wanted ever since I was two years old, and I had to completely reinvent myself. I recall my radiation oncologist to be the first on my medical team to even mention the risk of lymphedema, and she told me that it was only one to two percent. What her and I did not know at the time was that lymphedema is a much larger issue. According to recent published studies, one in three at-risk cancer patients will develop lymphedema. The prevalence of this issue is real. As a physician and a patient, I recognize that a cancer diagnosis causes huge emotional and practical upheaval in someone's life and in that of their loved ones. Lymphedema brings back all of the emotions associated with feeling ill. Women with lymphedema exhibit higher levels of psychological, social, sexual, and functional morbidity. Compression garments are constant reminders of the cancer experience. And many of us have difficulty performing the essential functions of our jobs and then are summarily dismissed and unemployed. Your patients are looking to you for your expertise, quality care, and guidance. They have no idea what could be waiting for them on the other side of cancer, but you do. I'm asking you to help them avoid a potential pitfall that could derail the rest of their lives even after their breast cancer is considered cured. I'd like to share with you three things I think you can do to help your patients avoid this lifelong chronic condition. Number one, educate your patients. Your patients should know about the risk associated with their treatment. They need to be informed of lymphedema as a complication so that together you can take the right steps to reduce risk and ensure the best possible outcome for their survivorship. Number two, explore the latest microsurgical techniques that have made an impact on mitigating secondary lymphedema. Many of the world's most prestigious cancer centers have implemented preventative programs for their cancer patients. I encourage you to reach out, seek advice from your colleagues, and learn more about how to address lymphedema proactively in your practice. Number three, Implement a preventative treatment plan to monitor your patients and give them the confidence that they are getting the best care possible. It can take up to three years before a patient experiences signs or symptoms of secondary lymphedema. Luckily, we've come a long way with the science and data on lymphedema, and we are capable of detecting potential onset very easily and early enough to intervene with treatment. By implementing a surveillance model of care at your institution, you are effectively helping your patients avoid future complications with lymphedema.